Welcome to a new episode of our weekly web series, Science and Context. World Mental Health Day is coming up. I'm Sabina, and today I speak with Catherine Davis about mental health and the link with HIV. Catherine, can you explain a bit more about this link? Yep, so there's a two-way relationship. Mental health conditions are more common among people living with HIV than HIV-negative people. And some research suggests that experiencing psychological distress is associated with increased sexual risk behaviour, meaning that people living with mental health conditions could be at a higher risk of contracting HIV. At the same time, a range of biological, psychological, social and structural factors can increase the risk of mental health conditions for people living with HIV. As part of the pop art study in Zambia and South Africa, we showed that people who experience HIV-related stigma, such as being talked about badly because of their HIV status, had higher symptoms of both anxiety and depression. And can you explain a bit more about this impact of uh, mental health conditions? Sure, so regardless of HIV status, mental health conditions are associated with a very wide range of poor health outcomes, and that includes reduced quality of life, increased cognitive impairment, and raised suicide risk. In our study in Zimbabwe, we found an association between psychological distress and high blood pressure among both people living with HIV and HIV negative people. In addition, mental health problems can affect specific health outcomes among people living with HIV. So for example, mental health conditions might be associated with reduced adherence to treatment, And we know that when people stop taking their treatment, not only does that have negative outcomes for their physical health, it can also lead to drug resistance and increased transmission of HIV. And what can be done to break this cycle? Testing and treatment are really at the heart of the HIV response, but this will not be enough on its own to close the mental health gap between people living with HIV and HIV negative people. Integrating mental health and HIV services is key, and it's vital that the most affected people by HIV and by mental health conditions are involved with the development of these integrated services. This fits with the theme for World Mental Health Day, which is make mental health and wellbeing for all a global priority. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Sabina, and thanks also to all the participants in the studies I've mentioned today.